a lot of people have not been aware of Paralympics. Um, they don't know that we train as hard as every Olympian, um, that we have as much desire and goal, goals, set goals to win. We go to um, the Paralympics with the same attitude that, uh, that Olympians do. My name is Jan Wilson. I work for uh, the College of Architecture and Urban Studies and I am the Director of Alumni Relations and the Career Services Liaison. I have been a competitor in Paralympic sports in my past. I competed in three Paralympics, uh, the first one being in 1980, the second one is, was in 1984, and my final competition was in 1988. So in 1984, I came back, um, I broke three short course world records in the qualifying uh, national championships, and then I uh, broke one world record at the Paralympics in the 100 meter breaststroke, and I won a total of seven medals that, that year. So that was my year. It was wonderful. It was just a, an amazing time, and I'm, I'm so happy that my hard work paid off. It was a, a huge um, encouragement to me to know that if you commit to something and you dream about it and you follow your dream and you work for it that you can accomplish it and nothing's better than standing on top of that podium when the flag is going up and it's all about what you've done in honor of your country they honored us by selecting a, a, a number of former athletes to carry the torch for the opening ceremonies. There will be a torch relay um, that begins on the 24th of August from five different spots in the United Kingdom. So the flames will merge in Stoke Mandeville, which is about uh, an hour north of London, and there will be a 24-hour relay and the torch will be passed off to community members who have been nominated by their family or friends or their companies. And then the, the athletes, from, from one from each of the Paralympic Games since 1960 all the way through tw well, 2012, will be those that light the torch and light the cauldron. And what it means to me is that for every athlete who has ever competed in the past in the Paralympics or ever tried to compete, and for every athlete who's competing now, and for every young person who wants to do that in the future, that's, that's why this means so much to me, because I'm carrying that flame that has burned in me for since I was 20 years old um, forward uh, and completing the circle of my life as an athlete.